Hello everybody, Erskig here, and today we are going to be playing some FTL, Faster Than Light. So, we're going to start a new game here, warning you, yes, we want to lose all our progress. And I've played this game a little bit before, but yeah, actually quite a bit. So we're going to go from here, we're going to start out just the basic thing, and hopefully you guys can give me some pointers in the comments below. So, we're going to go with normal mode, we're going to start right here. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for your journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip: Cloaking. Cloaking prevents enemies from firing on your ship or charging their weapons. It also causes all currently flying shots to miss your ship. Useful, very useful. Okay. Nausea will be our pilot, Graffin, our weapons expert, let's unpause this, um, and Ekman will be our shield guy. We'll power up our weapons, depower the med bay, we don't need that up all the time anyway, and get our engines revving on up. Do people say that, revving on up? And, um, I've got the options selected, so these appear, these, like, links between the different beacons. It just shows you where you're going to be able to jump, so let's, let's try and plot a course. We'll go here, 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 and the rebels will start to show up. We can probably make it here, here, here. Can we go here? Hmm. Let's try not to do that loop. So here, 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 here. And then we've got a bunch of other options, and we hit all the nebula spaces, so that um, we get the most jumps possible. So let's execute that plan. Go well, here. A pawnbroker has set up a shop at this obscure beacon. He might be offering something worth looking at. Two fuel for four missiles. Well, we have a missile launcher, so we'll take that trade. We got plenty of fuel and we can probably pick up some more along the way. Let's go here. Arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears abandoned, but you detect faint light signatures on board. From what I remember about this, we run the risk of losing a crew member. We could also get one, and more than likely we're just gonna get scrapped, so we're gonna go for it. Board the station and look for survivors. Human corpses are scattered across the station. You find the source of the signal, a lone survivor that locked themselves in a storage closet. You quickly retreat with him in tow back to the ship and hope they can recover enough to be of some use. Ten scrap. We just got another crew member. This is looking up and just generally really good. Luan T, our new engine engines guy. To the distress beacon. We need to help the people in need. Because they're in need. You locate the source of the distress call, a nearby human mining colony, an unknown disease is spread virulently among the workers. They are trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate the spread of the disease, but lack any enforcement and a riot seems likely. Send in your crew to help control the crowds or ignore their requests and move on. Um, I don't want any of my guys getting sick, so we're going to ignore their requests and move on. Unfortunately, your mission is too important and you're not willing to risk your crew. You prepare to move on. I think we made the smart decision there. Our luck had to run out sometime. Okay, we'll jump here. And, oh, we got 20 scraps, so we'll see what we can do with that. You receive a request. All our military ships have been destroyed or damaged during the rebellion. However, there have been reports of a Mantis war camp only a few jumps from us. Can you help? We'll pledge to do what we can. Um, 17 scrap. Thank you. If you can just give us a count on their numbers, perhaps we can get the rebels to help. Oh, they want to work with the rebels. That's not good. 17 scrap. Added a quest marker to our map. We'll jump. This is interesting. Okay, so we're gonna change the course up a little bit. We'll go here, then here, then here. And continue as originally planned. So we'll jump. And... 
find the Mantis encampment, but there are far too many of them to count accurately. You, sell, you send a long-range message back to the settlement with your findings, but unfortunately, there's not much you can do. It will be suicide to attack directly. We're gonna use our missile weapon to bombard their key structures. You fire at their fuel depot, but a shot from the surface rips the missile to shreds. They must have a planetary defense system set up already. You try to get away, but a nearby patrol ship moves in to attack. Okay, it's a Mantis ship, which normally they're crewed very poorly by Mantis, who aren't good at working with systems, but this one doesn't have a teleporter, so they can't attack us, which is the Mantis' main strength. So, we may be able to win this, but you see they've got a bomb weapon here, and a laser, so we could be in trouble, because that's a pretty big laser. Okay, and I think this is our first combat. Normally you don't go this long. Okay, we'll turn auto fire on, and put the Artemis on their weapons, we need to get those out of action, and then burst laser down the shields. Okay, the shields are down completely, we're gonna try and land all three hits on their piloting system, that way they can't dodge, and hopefully this will kill them. And there we go, they didn't even get a shot off. With the patrol ship destroyed, you hasten to leave, it won't be long before the other ships catch up. One missile, one drone part, and 15 scrap. We've got 52 scrap and only just a few jumps. And a new crew member. Let's see what we can upgrade. Um, 23. We could upgrade the shields, but then we don't have enough power. So we'll continue to save. Maybe we can find a store. We're not going to go to that one because it's just too far off. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings, and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. We can pay their toll of 15 scrap and avoid a fight, or we can reject their offer and fight them. Hopefully pick up some scrap along the way. And again, it's a Mantis ship, but it's not got a teleporter. If you look at the systems down here, there's no teleporter symbol. And um two lasers, so we could take a hit or two here. We're gonna reject the offer. Too bad. You will regret this decision. I don't think that we will. I think that we are going to kick you to Timbuktu, and that will be the end of it. So, we're gonna put a missile on weapons, get that out as soon as possible, and burst laser the shields again. Maybe not the most efficient thing, but eh, it should serve our purposes. I hope. Okay, burst laser those shields. Oh, they got their second thing on them. They offer you some of their cargo if you let them live. Three fuel, one drone part, and 21 scrap. That's already a really good deal. And a defense drone Mark II, that is insane. We're taking this. Okay, so now in our equipment, in the cargo spot, we've got a defense drone Mark II. This is worth a whole lot of scrap if we sell it at a store, so we're gonna keep it and sell it because I don't see it being much use on a ship that doesn't start with a drone system. Unless we can pick one up early. It's hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination. One of the ships at the small station is offering a deal. We get five fuel for four missiles. I don't think we can afford to lose the missiles, and missiles are worth more than fuel. That's not a good deal. We'll ignore them. Jump here. Yeah, that should work. Okay. Your scans reveal a mining base on a nearby planet long since abandoned. No life signs detected. That's disappointing. We'll jump here. You want to look out in the nebulas, because there can be an ion storm which will limit our power. You arrive in the nebula and immediately receive a message from an unknown source. Prepare to be boarded. With the static from the nebula, there's nowhere to tell where they came from, but you hear shots being fired on board the ship. Okay. You three get here. You go there. Okay, we're going to open all 
the doors, starve these guys of oxygen. Hopefully that'll keep them out. And depower the engines, power up the med bay, keep our guys alive just long enough to dispatch them. Close this, try and get oxygen back here. Is that all of them? No systems are under attack, so I think that's all of them. We got this handled. Close up the doors again, try and get oxygen flowing, and open all the internal doors. That way it can recharge faster. Move her back to the pilot. Graffin, you get to be back on your weapon systems, and Ekman on your shields. Luan T, go man the engines. Okay. So, get the oxygen flowing again. We got almost 50%. That should be enough to jump, but eh, let's not risk it in case the next guys take out our oxygen system. So, we're just gonna hang around. I'd say around 75% would be good for um, jumping again. <laughs> 69. Uh, um, it, our engines are back online. We've hit our goal. Close all the doors by one power bar and upgrade the shields to the next tier. And um, I guess we can take the self engines temporarily. Power up those shields and continue on our merry way. Um, an advanced rebel automated scout. An automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what's inside. Ooh, we could get some pretty good loot from this. Um, so they got an ion and a beam, but with our advanced shields, they can't do any damage to us. We'll attack it. Attack the automated ship to get to the station. Okay. Uh, wait for the weapons to charge. Oxygen's coming back online, we've, we're almost at full. And we don't need to waste any of our missiles, so we're gonna knock out those shields, and then just focus on the engines, because there's no way they're getting through our shields. Okay, engines are down. Let's take out the piloting so they can stop repairing. And actually, this round of shots should kill them. Okay. You salvage what you can from the broken ship. 12 scrap. And let's investigate the station. The station was either abandoned or stripped clean. It seems to have lain unused for quite some time. You find nothing useful. Okay. So no real good loot, but at least we got the scrap from the ship. I guess that's some form of consolation. You jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Manually search the wreckage for survivors and equipment, avoid the risk, and wait to jump away unscathed. There's a chance that we could get a survivor and get him to join our crew. If we get an NG, that would be really good. Let's manually search the wreckage. Among the junk and scrap, you find a salvageable drone schematic. You've decided to quit while you're ahead and prepare to jump with your recent find. Okay, a defense drone Mark I. That could be worth keeping, but more than likely we'll sell it at the store. Okay, um... Don't see why we wouldn't buy another power bar here. Yeah, we'll go for another power bar. Looks like if we jump here, they'll move, so this could be our last jump in this sector, and five fuel left to boot. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage your ship. Okay, demand the surrender of their goods. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. They don't look like they want to fight, they're trying to escape. Okay, get those shields up. Ah, they got a drone that could hit us. Let's hope that our engines will be able to avoid it. So, we're gonna focus the Artemis there. And then, 
put the burst laser on their drones. That way, any repair drones are taken out. They can't jump, and this guy is deactivated. Take the Artemis offline, move this guy here, and let's see how this works out. Take out the shields, that should be good, and then aim right down the cockpit. Let's see if we can shoot the pilot in the face. Not that that's actually going to happen, but... Okay. Destroyed. The ship was carrying military supplies. You pick up anything that looks salvageable from the debris. Oh, so if we would have boarded that ship, we would have gotten to keep a drone or a weapon. Two missiles, one drone part, and 19 scrap. Okay. So, we got 31 scrap to spend. Here. Just look at this. Tell me what I should be saving up for, what you guys think is the best plan of action here, and uh, um, whether or not I should keep this Defense Mark 1, or this Defense Mark 2. I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell this. So, we'll accept, and let's look at where we can jump. Yeah, they'll catch up to us, so we have to jump to the next sector. Or, we don't have to, but we should. So. Uh, we can go to an uncharted nebula, and that'll take us this way, which will leave open these options, or we could cross down here, or civilian sector, and that's very similar to the one we were just in. The uncharted nebula has a lot of nebula beacons in it, so um, leave any response in the comments below, and I will see you guys then, assuming of course there's anyone watching. Like, if nobody responds, I guess I'll just um, choose next time. Either way, we'll close this, close that, and I've been Erskig, you guys have been great, and have a great day. Goodbye.